hello guys welcome to another video in this video we would be seeing on how we can interact with mcp using lang graph like inside a lang graph uh, node how do we connect to mcp and all and the setting up of mcp is pretty much straightforward we'll just go to the documentation here if you see they will help us uh, on how to create a project and all like they are doing we need with the project name go into that project installing virtual environment activating virtual environment and installing the required libraries so the same thing which i have also done for me like instead of whether i have used this particular project name and all instead of touch weather dot py over here i did like touch uh, travel itinerary plan dot py okay here this is my server mcp server inside which i have multiple tools okay if you see here i have one tool for planning uh, thailand so this particular agent which i am going to demonstrate right now is like a uh, travel uh, assistant is what we can call if you come to this here if you see it starts and then extracts the user information all the details about the query and all in the first node then it plans for the trip like based on the user query if the user says like i want to go to the beach location for three four days can you suggest something then accordingly it will suggest the thailand or bali something like if the user says i want to go to some artificial buildings and all then it will suggest uh, dubai something like that that's how i have written so it's it's like uh, overall the uh, the agent which we are building now is a travel uh, assistant is what we can call and here we have multiple tools in the mcp if you see one is to plan thailand tip and inside which uh, i am using a helper function called build daily plan inside which based on the input we will suggest the places it's just a plain python stuff which you can view in the repository not much complex and similarly another tool for planning dubai and another tool for planning bali that's it and we know like we are running an mcp here this is an mcp server this particular python file in my local and i have taken another uh, folder and inside which i have created a, a notebook Uh, and inside the notebook i am using the lang graph i'll show you on how in case in case if you are still not clear on what is mcp and how to create mcp server and all you can watch my video on youtube as well so this is my mcp video you can even watch this and i have very clearly explained on what is mcp and how to create an mcp server and all so the same thing which you can even follow by following this particular documentation as well now here i've just imported required libraries i am loading the .env file using this uh, .env module that's it inside which i have open ai api key now i i am initiating a model here using chart open ai from La lang chain if you see lang chain open ai import chart open ai this is a model i'll be using down that's it so now and we know in lang graph we will have a state class and inside the state class we can create multiple variables and those variables will be updated in every node right one default thing is the messages like all the human messages ai messages will be appended to this messages along with that i have other variables like intent destination dates duration budget itinerary tips for that specific travel and all which i can ignore as of now it's not needed and all the other variables uh, you let's say if you see dur duration why why is duration variable needed because i'll type a query saying i want to uh, travel to a beach location for 3 4 days so the 3 or 4 will be assigned to this variable named uh, duration and if i give any specific date that dates will be assigned to this variable so if if it chooses the location as bali for for my, if the travel assistant chooses the location as bali for my travel then the bali location will be there in this destination variable so if you want you can go through my lang graph tutorials where i very clearly explained about the state and why we need state and all but on a high level at every node we will be updating this particular state variable so that we can access in the next node that's the major uh, intention and the message is mandatory because there will be human messages ai messages and all those right so this variable is mandatory now if you go i have my first node called extract user info node here i am just giving the prompt you are a travel assistant you must suggest the destination only these three not any of other three because my tool in mcp suggest only the have only these three related tools i don't have any other tools uh, for other location that's it so i just gave the prompt that's it and now 
and now I am appending the user message along with this prompt and if you see here I have this particular prompt created now if you see I am using the with structured output here like the output of this particular node should be in this format only what is this this is an another class travel query class here it should have the destination duration preference and intent all these kind of information will be extracted from the user query in the first node so where is the destination uh, user uh, wants to go to what is the duration how many days he wants to go to what is the preferences what are the options he has what is the intent what is the exact question like is he asking for a trip plan or something else so i'm in the first node i'm just trying to extract some kind of information based on the user node that's it now i'm just invoking this particular llm using the prompt i have so now i'll get the response right in this format only so i'll get the response with these four variables only is because i have used with structured output right so the output will be on that only so now i'm taking those values and assigning it to the state value inside the state i have destination duration preference intent right i'm just updating the state variables that's it that's in the state class we have multiple variables right so i'm just updating few of the columns here that's it few few of the variables here that's it now in the next node is where we are planning the uh, trip in the first node we are understanding the user query and assigning or updating the state variables in the second node is where we are calling an mcp server okay so here i'm just checking whether my particular destination is among these three or not because i have tools only for these three right so i'm just checking if my particular destination is the is among these three or not and how did i got this des destination which i have updated in the before node okay this is the state variable if you see i'm reading from the state of destination if you go in the state we have this destination variable here okay so that's how we are reading from the state in the next node and you i hope you understand the purpose of having the state now uh, now uh, similarly other variables i'm just uh, doing a check like if the destination is on three uh, then proceed or else raise an exception that's it now i have a prompt here that's it i'm just enhancing some prompt that's it now if you see this is how in lang graph we can make an mcp call as per the documentation they are asking to use this particular multi server mcp client okay with using with statement i am opening and where is my mcp server uh, it's a python command and this is the path of my python file i just came here and i just did copy of this particular path the uh, my mcp server python file path and just pasted here and the interaction between this happens using the stdio there are multiple protocols right here we are using stdio in the local systems so this is how now we will be getting the connection to our mcp client and now inside this client variable we can get the tools if you see i am creating another agent inside this node using create react agent in lang graph where i am passing the model and the tools so now i can i, I use this particular agent and invoke based on my query so if you see your agent dot invoke of my query instead of invoke i am using a invoke because this is an async method here this is an async and uh, this is a, this should also be nothing because inside we are using async right so this should also be nothing and i am just in doing a invoke and that response again i am updating in the iternary so because we are it will use these tools in uh, underneath and if and here we are checking whether it's only in these three destination and i have mcp tools for these three and these tools will return the itinerary if you see in every of this node if we are just uh, if you see in every of this tool we are just returning the itinerary right so this itinerary will be updated so this itinerary will be returned and it it will be again updated in our state that's what we are doing here so we are updating the state in the next node or wherever we want we can just access from that state uh, class that's it in the next node we are just giving some casual hard coded tips based on the location that's it it's just a simple node so the context of this video is on how we can call mcp server inside the lang graph node so using this particular uh, way like we can using this particular class we can uh, create a cl connection and use the tools and everything all the methods that's it so now i'm just triggering the uh, and now i'm building the graph here if you see i'm doing you know you know in lang graph we create the graph empty graph like this and we'll be adding the nodes and edges 
so i we have three nodes here so i just added three nodes and after start it should go to this node and after this node go to this node after this node after this node and then end that's what we have created the edges and now if you compile it this is what uh, we'll be getting so this graph and now we can execute if you see i like the beach areas and i want to spend three to four days so anything you can suggest is my question so i have asked this and it is if you see it is calling the mcp tool and it it, it has suggested thailand and it is calling the uh, uh, mcp tool named plan thailand if you see here we got plan thailand method here so it is using triggers that particular tool and we'll be getting the itinerary so you can access that using our uh, response inside response we have itinerary right so if i just print the response once if you see inside we have all these state variables right intent duration tapes itinerary messages everything right that's what we we have in the state see all this uh, are there and now if you come here if you see we have the response and we can just extract the itinerary here with this last ai message that's what i am doing here if you see if i just run this i have extracted the last ai message and day one it is suggesting these two day two it is suggesting these two day three these things like that and again if you want to uh, trips we can even get the tips as well so this is what the tips we will be giving so the intention i know this is not a very complex agent something like that but the intention of this video is to show on how we can use mcp inside the langraph node that's it using this particular class that's it thank you so much for watching